The Million Program Swedish, is the common name for an ambitious public housing program implemented in Sweden between 1965 and 1974 by the governing Swedish Social Democratic Party to make sure everyone could have a home at a reasonable price. The aim was to construct a million new dwellings during the program's 10-year period. At the time, the Million Program was the most ambitious building program in the world to build one million new homes in a nation with a population of 8 million. At the same time, a large proportion of the older housing stock was demolished. The housing shortage in Sweden before the start of the program was a major political and social issue in Sweden. Between 1860 and 1960, Sweden had transformed from an agrarian nation to a highly industrialised nation, which led to a large urbanisation trend. The population in the countryside moved in large numbers to towns after 1945. This urbanisation following World War II was also encouraged by the authorities and governing establishment. After the war, as Swedish industry was unharmed, cities needed workers to produce the amount of goods demanded by the rest of war destroyed Europe. The major cities of Sweden had in many cases had their last building boom in the late 19th century and were, by 1950, much too small to accommodate the rural population then flooding into the cities. The increasing standard of living led to demands to dramatically decrease the population density and to abolish the old Lortsvarige dirt Sweden. This was made possible because of the outstanding growth Sweden had during the record years in the 1950s and 1960s which led to a flood of income to the national treasury. This money was used to implement social reforms. The Social Democratic government implemented reforms to ensure the availability of land, such as new land acquisition rules for local authorities, as long as the landowner was planning to sell it to a private buyer. Another new law said that a municipality could build homes outside its border. Lex Balmora. Because rural municipalities near Stockholm could not afford building so much, over the lifespan of the program, 1,006,000 new dwellings were built. For the houses designed for the lowest income group, the government would bear 66% of the initial costs and this would be repaid by the customers and residents in a 30-year period. For other categories such as students and blue-collar workers and immigrants, the government provided subsidies and incentives to building companies in order to start construction. The net result was an increase in Sweden's housing stock of 650,000 new apartments and houses, financed through property tax, with a general rise in housing quality. Generally these houses have small apartments and have a smilaler architecture of housing units and project the USA. While the original projects was built in the mid-1960s to early 1970s with the native white Swedish working class in mind, growing gentrification, especially in Stockholm and the five largest cities, since the late 1980s to mid-1990s has resulted in a vast majority of such million program projects being inhabited by the non-white immigrants and their descendants, as the white working class managed to move out out by growing into the middle class. Topic: <inaudible> Design. The new million program residential areas were greatly inspired by early suburban neighborhoods such as Vallingby and Arsta. One of the main aims behind the planning of these residential areas was to create good democratic citizens. The means of achieving this were to build at high quality with a good range of services including schools, nurseries, churches, public spaces, libraries, and meeting places for different groups of households. A principal aim was to mix and integrate different groups of households through the spatial mixing of tenures. Most of the apartments were of the 
standard three-room apartment type Swedish normal tria of 75 square meters 810 square feet planned for a model family of two adults and two children the second type of apartments were the student blocks or student suburbs that were planned and built in the cities having large universities like Stockholm Lund Uppsala Linköping and Umeå Almost 150,000 new student apartments were built in specially designated student suburbs in order to meet the needs of the rapidly increasing university student population. These student apartments were usually one bedroom, one bathroom, and common kitchen type dorms that were clustered together in a large suburb or neighborhood. The ownership of the apartments were leased out to housing companies like Heimstad and AB who rented it out at below market rates, the rents being subsidized by the government. The Million program is sometimes equated with the construction of concentrated tower blocks. However, these areas constituted about one-third of the program's apartments. Areas with lower apartment blocks and areas with one-family houses made up about the remaining two-thirds of the number of total units. Photos Districts Million program districts include Rinkeby, Tensta and Husby in Stockholm Municipality Bredang, Skarholmen and Varberg in Stockholm Municipality Fisk Satra in Naka Varby Gard, Masmo, Albi, Fitya and Halunda in Hudding Municipality and Botkirka Municipality outside Stockholm. Jordbro and Brandbergen in Hanninge Municipality outside Stockholm. Hallenbergen in Sundbyberg Municipality Hageland in Solna Municipality Momvagen in Solentuna Municipality Havsho, Rana, Janita and Fornhaden in Södertälje Municipality Hjalbo, Hamarkullen and several others in Angered in Gothenburg Municipality Bergsjön in Gothenburg Municipality Heisings Baka and Biskosgarden in Gothenburg Rosengard, Hermodsdal, Kroksbach, Bellevuegarden, Lorenzborg, Lindangen, Hoja, Lindeborg and Holma in Malmö Komarken in Kungälv Kronogarden in Trollhattan Kronoparken in Karlstad Ride, Johanneland, Ekholmen, Berga, and Skagatorp in Linköping Gottsunda, Flogsta and Eriksberg in Uppsala Hertzen in Lulia Araby in Voxo Aladhem and Mariahem in Umeå Arby in Eskilstuna Hasselholmen and Norby in Boras Raslid in Jonkoping Ride, Skavda in Skavda Hagaby and Navistad in Norkoping Ekon in Motala Norliden in Kalmar Nora Faladin and Klostergarden in Lund, Korsbaka in Kavling, Skogslikken and Delaberg in Uddevalla, Rasta in Orebro, Andersberg in Gavla, Korfalte in Ostersund, Kungshall in Nybro, Drottinghag, Fredriksdal and Dalam in Helsingborg, Naxta in Sundsvall. See also Plattenbau Panelik Khrushchevka Tower block Urbanism